All right, Captain Nate here, West Michigan Guy Service, in my barn, and we are doing our cleaning and organizing. So, something I want to talk to you about is, what do you do with all of this stuff? You know, I've been pulling meat rigs off of baits that I didn't, you know, don't care about. You know, like I like this one, but I'm not a big fan of that teaser. You know, you, you've got all kinds of them. Maybe some of them like, like this one here. That head's all warped kind of funny. I could probably heat that up and bend it back, but it just never seems to go well with me. You know, some teasers. What do I do with it? Well, I cut it apart. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of meat heads. Some are brand new heads, you know, that I like the heads. Some of these are heads that I've cut off from other meat rigs. You know, I may get frays in my line and, uh, you know, take that. So, what I'll do with all of these is I save them. You know, like this meat head here, this is a muscle head. There's nothing wrong with it. Good looking meat head, still is going to work perfectly. I'm going to save that. The hooks, yeah, those hooks feel pretty good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save those hooks. Why not? Why, why buy it if you already have it and it's gonna work? You know, these teasers. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of these teasers right here. But I kind of look at it and go, well, there's a bead. You know, there's a clear bead. I'll put that in my bead box here. Well, just because I don't like that teaser with that head, I've got a different vision in my mind. Well, that's actually not a bad looking fly. Or I can use that as a, um, like a fly teaser for a, a lake trout rig. You know, put that on there, you know, cut it a little shorter. But, I mean, that's not a bad looking fly. A little sparse, but not bad. So I'll save these things, you know, and I, and I kind of piece them all together. I've got whole flies, I've got Twinkies, I've got, you know, Raptures, I've got all the different stuff, but I save all of these components to repurpose them. Because why not? You know, maybe one day I'll come be on the boat and go, man, they're, they're digging something, you know, with some black to it. Well, that teaser will come out good. You know, these little chain, chain things. Still, all useful stuff to have in your boat at any given time if you like to do custom stuff. I do. I custom rig stuff all of the time. You know, I will take heads and, you know, a plain head, let's say, you know, like this head here. You know, I'll get, I got piles of different tape, lure tape, from UV to blues, green, orange, every color underneath the sun. And I'll take a head like this and I'll go, hmm. You know, this head here, maybe, you know, I want a little more green to it. So maybe put a little green tape on there or some UV tape on it, some crush tape. You know, maybe I want a little bit more glow to it. It doesn't really matter. You know, you can take a regular just glow white head and I can do all kinds of sprucing up to that head and make something happen out of it that I th think is going to work good. And if it does, then the other thing I like to do is I like to take pictures of my rigs so that way I remember. Sometimes I don't, you know, fishermen, that's how we are. But that's my point is save these things. You know, like these little teasers right here. That's a, that's a, I don't even know who makes that one. But that's a good looking little teaser for right there. I can use that as a peanut fly for cohos. I can put it on for lake trout on a teaser behind a spinning glow or another meat rig. Save these things, utilize them. Some of the stuff, they don't, you know, they won't make it again. You can see I've got all kinds of stuff. And it's, this is kind of just like my junk box of it. You know, my meat heads, I kind of organized. Just a whole box of beads. And I got way more beads than this. Looks like I need to order some too. But save it. Utilize it. Someday, this may, that may be the head. And I wished I had another one. And I start digging. And I've got one. So keep that in mind. Utilize them. Hope that's going to help you in the future.